All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whenever it is for you, whenever you're watching this video. Hope you're having a good one. Good rest of your day, good end of the day, whatever it is. Hope it's a little bit better now that you can watch this video. We got some more 61 content coming at you today. Um, I want to handle uh, something that I've been putting off for a little bit. Well, not putting off, but something I've wanted to do for a little bit on this truck. Um, and that is... Actually, it's happening back here now that you know we had 40 bags of dirt in the back of this thing I didn't get a picture of it sadly, but it was back to its work trust truck status uh, momentarily there for a little bit um, But now it is time To start moving forward and getting some stuff done. It's time to pull this whole box off Yeah, that's what we're doing in today's video today. We are getting the bed of this truck off and we are prepping it to get ready for obviously I'm gonna get the frame nice and ready and I'm gonna probably do I'm not sure if I'm gonna pull the cab off yet or not um, I'm still debating that fact but we will be um, pulling that off and at least behind the cabin back I will be repainting the frame and uh, well the plan is at this current moment I'm swapping the rear axle in that thing uh, I will explain more on that in a little later video, um, but I've done some rough measurements, some just kind of quick little guesswork, um, and what I want to do should work so far, um, in theory, I guess, but, you know, I'm going in to be an engineer, theory is what all, all that matters, apparently. Um, but I did drop the video ball for you guys, actually, um, about two weeks ago now, I dropped off, uh, the 283 that's going in this truck to replace this... 235 that's blown. I dropped it off at the um, machinist. So he's got it currently and um, he's pretty busy. So I'm not quite sure when I'm going to be getting that back. Um, I told him not to rush it because I'm not in a big hurry for it. Um, I'm still kind of saving some money to get the funds to do this. But hopefully by fall I'll have that engine back. Um, but yeah, he just got a really big order to get some engines done for an order for a company. So I told him, I'm like, just go ahead with that. Don't worry about me. You can put me off. I'm not in any rush for this. I have other things I can do. So, like I said, today the plan overall is to pull this bedside off. So, I think I lubed up all the bolts before this video um, a little while ago. And from what I've been able to tell, it's three bolts at the front, three bolts at the rear on each side. So a total of 12 bolts. Um, 12 minutes that I got to take off. So, I think, with that being said, I think I'm going to go grab a ratchet, and I'm going to actually pull these off right now. Um, and I guess I will catch up with you guys um, when I get this bedside off. And we'll see what it looks like, and uh, I'll show you some of this. If you guys don't know anything about these trucks, uh, the rear frame and the way they did it back in the day is actually pretty cool. Um, it's going to help me out a lot in some of my future plans for it. Um, so I'm super excited for that. Uh, but yeah, it's actually quite an interesting way they used to do suspension and frames on these things. Um, so I think you guys will enjoy that. If you haven't or don't know what I'm talking about, then yeah, I think you'll enjoy that. And if you do know what I'm talking about, then awesome. You know a little bit about these old trucks. Um, I'm just myself starting to learn, obviously, as you guys can tell. Um, but yeah. It's going to be interesting. Uh, I think you guys will definitely enjoy this one once I get that bed off. Uh, i got to figure out where we're going to put it in the yard yet. Um, but yeah, once I get that bed off, we'll do some explaining and showing of how they did this and why I think I'm going to be able to actually swap this truck fairly easily. I say that now, but it's probably not knowing the way these things go. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to drop this camera down, get ready to do that. Uh, i got to go wire up, uh, finish wiring up a trailer today as well. Um, so a busy day. Busy, busy summer. Busy summer coming. It's plus 24 today up here in, in Canada. It's awesome. Beautiful day. Uh, things are starting to get moving finally because um, we're getting nice weather. So without further ado, let's hop into this. Let's get into the action. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. All right, y'all. Well, we've been really busy on these 61 these past couple days. And as I say, a couple days, it has been a bit since the first part was filmed. But I digress. The way things we do things around here, a little bit weird. We've hammered out the big projects of disassembly on this thing. It has been absolutely amazing. We've been putting in good work, fair amount of hours as well on it, and it feels awesome. I am comfortable with the point I'm at with saying that this thing, we have probably knocked out the majority of disassembly projects in the cheap part of this build. 
that have to actually be done. Now we're getting actually ready to the point where we're going to be able to start doing stuff to get this bad thing road ready once again, which is awesome, super sweet. Uh, we're currently on track to hit the four-year goal of getting it running on the road again. Not getting it pretty, but getting it running. There's a difference, people. Um, but the beautiful thing about all of this is we've been knocking this out. It's coming together like insanely well right now. I'm super happy. Uh, Dad's been helping out a lot with all this. It's an awesome project. Um, but it's great. So with that, with that all being said, let's, uh, let's get into what we've been doing. So first off on the list here is, as you can see, on this beauty here, we've pulled the bed off this thing. Finally, after waiting and having it for a bit, this is something that I've been needing to do and been wanting to do. Um, now, first up, I'm just going to start back here with this kind of elephant in the room is these right here the damage to the ends of the frame that I gotta fix and get the bumpers and stuff set up for um, if you all know what this is this is it's the old exhaust um, from my knowledge um, it's gonna be gone because we're obviously doing things different but first thing that I do would like to point out is this shock mount um, once we start delving deeper into the frame this shock mount is uh, has uh, seen better days, to be quite honest with y'all. Um, it's been welded there. It's on the verge of of cracking there, as you can see. It's it's pretty bad. It's uh, it's gonna need to be replaced. There's no nut on this shock at all. It's just it's just loose in there. Uh, it's actually was riding, as you can see, a little bit on the uh, end of that bolt there. Um, it's actually wore the threads off because it was riding on like the thread so it's nice and smooth there now so there are like no threads so that obviously needs to be replaced. And then moving over to the other side well that one doesn't look at all like that one. No. That's because this one's made out of s square just steel and my guess is whatever was laying around the farm um, but as you can tell it's seen better days but uh, we're gonna have to obviously um, at least this one's got a nut on it that that's a plus right there's a there's a nut on this one that's uh, we're winning for that um, this is probably gonna have to be replaced nothing wrong with it necessarily like it's it's strong but I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to be able to work with this. I don't know. We're going to see. Um, now, as I mentioned in the previous, the way they did the suspension on these old trucks is kind of cool. So if you actually notice, um, the way the shocks are mounted, if you look at it here, down here, they're not actually straight up mounted to the axle, which makes my next plan really, really good and fairly easy to actually accomplish. Because the way these trucks were done, You've got your frame rails that run here, and then it's kind of like a box X frame where it's like, it, it's, it's a frame style. So the frame runs on the outside and like boxes stuff in, but then on the inside here, you've got like an X frame. And it comes to a point in the middle, kind of like an X, and then it moves out again, right? But, and then off of this point here, we have these arms. Now I don't know what these arms are called from factory or what they are from 61 but I can tell you that these arms are basically I guess what now we would call especially in like the aftermarket scene what everybody's doing we would call it a track bar and so these come off of this point here run back and then as you can see down there they run back and then that's how they connect to the axle is with one big that so that is how this rear axle actually it's better shown over there the axle runs and it runs into that point there. That's what the axle sits on. And then as you can see, the spring coils around that and then comes up to the frame. And that's what gives you your height and everything in the rear. So the cool thing about that is that means the only thing that's actually well, really holding this axle on at all is just that. And the other one here is these two um, little U-bolts, I guess is what they're called. Sorry, my air conditioning is running over there. Um, and then, this right here, this panard, this 
let me slow this down, this Panhard bar. And it runs from there, and basically the gist of it, if you don't know what it is, is it just helps keep this axle and everything, when you go around corners, it just helps keep it centered so it doesn't sway and doesn't move. It helps it find its way. When you go around the corner, it helps the axle find its way, I guess, back to center line and back to where it needs to be. So, that is actually the only thing that's actually connected to this axle. So, if you want to do an axle swap, all you really need is a panhard mount on the axle you want to swap into it. If you get where I'm going with this one, yeah, that's right. The plan is to axle swap this mainly because I can find a used axle out of an older truck. Actually, a truck similar to my old one. Hopefully, preferably with disc brakes on the rear and an LSD. And then that allows me to cheaply do this entire rear. And then all I have to do is get the panhard bar put on it and take the um, shock mounts off of it and then drop it in. That's the plan for right now. I've done some rough measurements and whatnot. It should work in theory, but I'm in going in for an engineer. We're all about theory. So hoping, hoping theory, well, not all of us, mainly the scientists, but an engineering is not science, kind of. It kind of is, kind of isn't. But anyways, in theory, it's a plan. Should work, rough measurements, yes. Um, and then I'll get disc brakes in the rear, LSD, simple, broken down. Now. That's not to say that I have only taken the box off of this truck recently, because I have not. Now I'm thinking, is there anything else that I need to talk about back here before I leave? No, that's it. I gotta take the drive shaft off of it eventually, but that's for another day. The other thing we've been working on is air conditioning in the cab. Or, yeah. So there it is. That's right, we've pulled the gas tank out of it and we've pulled the seat out of it. And I have realized there's a lot more damage in here than I originally suspected. Like I've always said, you can just about flintstone the truck with the amount of rust through it. That's to be expected. The other side's better, but still not savable. Is what it is, we'll deal with that in the long run. Cab corners need to be redone. Need a full floor pan, rocker panels, and as you can see, if I can find it here, yes, up, up here. There's daylight poking through. Yes, as usual, the cat, the little brow thing on these trucks rusts through. Common rust spot. But the other thing is, we're going to be swapping this truck out to a high hump. It's currently a low hump because, as you can see, it's a three on the tree. Um, but we're going to swap it to a high hump floor pan because I plan on putting a five-speed um, in this truck and doing a floor shift. So that's going to happen. Gas tank's not staying behind here. Those brackets are going to be coming out. I'll be putting something back there, subs, whatever. We'll be going back there. Um, actually, I plan on mounting the gas tank on either in the bed or under it. And now, honestly, looking at it, these two places right here would actually make a good spot to mount a gas tank between or to mount an air tank or whatnot, possibly for airbags in the future. Uh, maybe. I'm not... I might be hinting at something, I might not be hinting at anything at all. Who knows, that's for you guys to decide. Um, but yeah, seats pulled out of it. We've actually had a bumblebee that's been like kind of living in here. Every time I close the door and seem to come over here, there um, there seems to be a bumblebee in, in the cab, and I seem to have to let him out all the time. So I kind of have a bumblebee right now. Um, oops, I just don't want him to die in here, to be honest with you, because I feel really bad about that. Come on, I mean, I mean, I might hunt, but like, not everything needs to die, you know? Like, I'm not gonna eat him, like, come on. And plus, bumblebees are really cool. They're cool, we need the bees. So, yeah, pay, be mindful about that. The other thing I'd like to point out is this dash. I actually do plan on keeping this gauge cluster in it because um, I believe it was after 62. They changed this gauge cluster, um, and to be quite honest with you, I love the way this gauge cluster goes through all of this. Um, and how like simple yet clean it is, right? And yes, that's right. When this truck was parked, 70,380 miles on it. Yep, indeed. And on another point, on another thing that I need to point out, nope. What was it? A week ago, Wednesday night? Something like that. A little while ago, it's official. I got the bill of sale for this truck. It is now mine, which is super sweet. I'm super stoked that I'm able to do that. 
Um, once it's back on the road, I do plan on doing a video of the whole story behind this truck. Um, if you do follow my other social media or know me and understand um, and kind of know the story and kind of figured it out, don't spread it for people that don't. Um, but I do have a plan for that video as well. Um, but there's a lot of work to be done and a lot of stuff coming up, so you do not want to miss it. Um, I have, it's been about a month since I dropped the engine off. Haven't got an update on it yet. Hopefully, I'll be able to do a video on picking that up here soon. Um, but that's probably honestly just going to wrap it up for this. Um, this is more of an informative video. Uh, I don't know if you guys want to see the actual teardown process of this, but I've like really been enjoying kind of like not holding the camera and being able to just like do this project with dad and whatnot recently. It's felt really good. Um, but if you guys actually enjoy the whole seeing the like time lapses in the process of me taking things apart, let me know. If you want to see more of that, I can probably arrange that. If you don't like it and you enjoy this just kind of catch up and going over and discussion of things, let me know as well. It all helps. Um, and if you made it to this point in the video, I so much thank you. Uh, I'm going to try and keep this so short and sweet. I think that's about all we got for tonight. Um, let's get this, this really satisfying door closed. It'd be more satisfying if the rest wasn't there. Anyways, um, with that being said, I appreciate absolutely all of you for being here. Um, although the support's still small, I appreciate all of it. It all helps. It really makes me continue. This project's ha happening no matter what. Don't get me wrong. But I'm super glad and I'm hoping that you guys enjoy this project as much as I do. And I hope you guys want to see it come to life as much as I do. Because this, this is something that is very special for me. Um, and I'm super grateful that I'm able to actually undertake this and do this. And you guys will find out why um, that is later on. Uh, it might be a couple years, but you'll find out why. Um, so if you did enjoy this video, remember to give it a like, thumbs up. You know, comment what you liked about it. Comment what you don't like. Let me know what you want to see. Um, and lastly, if you enjoy the content and you do want to see more, hitting that subscribe button and turning on the notifications is always a great way to help me out. Um, and I'm hoping that if you enjoy this as much as I do, share it to other people, let other people know, and let's, uh, let's enjoy our craft. And remember, stay fueled by fa passion, y'all. Have a good one.